we really believe in the consumer experience for an EV, and so we want the next ones to be more affordable. And that's why we're investing in more affordable EVs in the next cycle of products that people see in, from Ford in the next couple of years. We're number two in EVs in the U.S. behind Tesla, a long way behind, but we're still there. And people love their Mach-E's and Lightnings, and they're going to like the new ones even better. Um, it is, what's hard about it is making the physical changes to be profitable, to bring the cost down. Ford just confirmed what everyone feared. Are we witnessing the end of traditional car makers as we know them? Today, we'll dive into the shocking realities facing traditional car makers as they grapple with fierce competition from Chinese manufacturers. We'll uncover how a new 100% tariff could change the game for American consumers and manufacturers alike. What does this mean for the future of iconic American brands like Ford? After extensive research and analysis, I'll reveal how these shifts could redefine the landscape of the automotive industry and what it means for you as a consumer. But before we get into the details, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. We're all about bringing you the latest and greatest updates, so you don't want to miss out. All right, let's get right into it. Let's talk about the electric vehicle market, which is really shaking things up right now. Traditional car makers like Ford are trying to keep up with all the changes. As more and more companies shift to electric cars, the competition is heating up faster than ever. A recent report points out a big threat from Chinese manufacturers, especially BYD, which is becoming a serious player in the EV game. With a 100% tariff on electric vehicles coming in from China, things are getting intense. Let's dive into what this all means for the car industry and how it's changing. So, here's the scoop. That 100% tariff on electric cars from China is about to shake up the U.S. automotive scene big time. Even with this hefty barrier, BYD, a top Chinese EV maker, is still looking like the most budget-friendly option for American buyers. Joe McCabe, the CEO of Auto Forecast Solutions, says that even with the new tariff, BYD's cheapest EV could still be priced under $25,000. That's a pretty attractive deal compared to what U.S. companies are offering. Speaking of prices, BYD's lowest-priced model, the Seagull EV, starts at an eye-popping $10,000 or 69,800 yuan in China. That's a steal! On the flip side, Tesla, which is the big name in the US EV market, hasn't managed to roll out a vehicle for under $30,000 yet. As of July 2024, Tesla holds about 48% of the market share. The tariff, meant to shield American car makers from what's seen as unfair competition, might actually end up helping BYD strengthen its foothold in the market. They're already set up with efficient supply chains and lower production costs, so they're ready to make the most of this situation. Let's take a closer look at BYD and how it's transformed from a battery maker into a top player in the EV world. Back in March 2022, BYD made a bold move by deciding to stop making all internal combustion engine vehicles. They fully embrace the electric future, and it's paying off. This decision has really put BYD at the forefront of the EV revolution. Plus, they've got a ton of experience in battery tech, having started lithium-ion battery production way back in 1996. In 2020, BYD introduced its Blade EV battery, which was a game changer. This battery not only improved energy density and safety, but also helped lower costs. Thanks to this innovation, BYD can keep its prices competitive, making their cars super appealing to folks who are watching their budgets. As they keep rolling out more efficient tech, BYD is solidifying its reputation as a leader in the EV market, especially in China where electric vehicles made up over 50% of passenger vehicle sales in July 2024. That's a huge deal! Now, let's talk about the competitive landscape in the EV market, which is changing fast. 
BYD's Seagull EV is really shaking things up by setting a new standard for affordability. With a price tag of under $10,000 in China, this model shows just how effective aggressive pricing can be in disrupting the market. As BYD grows, they're becoming a big challenge for U.S. automakers who are having a tough time keeping up with such low prices. In the U.S., electric vehicles only accounted for about 8.5% of light vehicle sales during the same time frame. That's a pretty big gap compared to China. This difference really highlights how urgent it is for American manufacturers to innovate and adapt to what consumers want. With Chinese companies like BYD and Cattle leading the charge in global battery production, holding 35.9% and 16.5% market shares, respectively, U.S. automakers need to rethink their strategies if they want to stay competitive. Ford, being a long-established car maker, is at a tough spot as it faces challenges from Chinese competitors. CEO Jim Farley has been pretty clear about the big threat that the Chinese EV market poses to Ford's future. And he's right to be worried. The fast progress of Chinese manufacturers has led to American companies losing a lot of market share, especially in the EV space. To tackle this pressure, Ford has made some big changes, like canceling its three-row electric SUV. This move opens up opportunities for overseas rivals like Kia and Hyundai to take advantage of the rising demand for electric vehicles. As Ford deals with project delays and a changing market, it's becoming more obvious that they need to speed up their EV plans to keep up with the quicker competitors. So, What's behind the amazing success of Chinese EV makers that sets them apart from American ones? One big reason is that they don't face the strict regulations and red tape that often slow things down in more developed markets. This relaxed environment lets Chinese startups play around with cool new technologies like artificial intelligence and advanced battery systems, giving them a real edge. On top of that, China's economic situation helps keep production costs low. They have a cheaper labor pool, which cuts down expenses at every step of making a car, from research and development to assembly and shipping. This cost advantage gets even bigger thanks to the Chinese government's close relationship with businesses, offering a ton of grants and subsidies to local EV makers. Over the past 15 years, these companies have received more than $230 billion in support, allowing them to price their cars lower than international competitors. China's smart strategy for securing resources has really helped it become a top player in the EV market. They've invested heavily in extracting rare earth minerals, which are super important for making advanced batteries. This proactive approach really stands out compared to many established manufacturers especially in the U.S., who have struggled to secure their lithium supplies and build reliable supply chains. But it's not just about keeping production costs low. How they manage resources also affects how well automakers can scale up their EV operations. While Chinese manufacturers have streamlined their supply chains, American companies are facing challenges like higher labor costs, strict regulations, and potential union issues. These hurdles can slow down the rollout of new EV models, making the gap between U.S. and Chinese manufacturers even wider. With the competitive threat from Chinese EVs looming large, Ford is taking a close look at its game plan. The company knows it needs to roll out competitive EV models that can keep up with the fast-paced market. However, recent comments from CEO Jim Farley indicate that Ford is running into some serious roadblocks in making this happen. For example, Ford's decision to delay building its battery factory in Indiana shows just how tough things are for them when it comes to ramping up EV production. As Ford navigates project timelines and resource allocation, they have to remember that other manufacturers, including Tesla and their Chinese rivals, are moving forward with their own plans. 
This situation highlights how urgent it is for Ford to speed up its EV initiatives and find innovative solutions to get back in the game. The future of the automotive industry is gearing up for some big changes as Chinese EV manufacturers keep making waves. With their low prices and cool technologies, companies like BYD are shifting what consumers expect and how the market operates. As more folks look to buy electric vehicles, traditional car makers really need to adapt, or they might get left behind. The competition between US and Chinese manufacturers is likely to heat up even more, pushing both sides to innovate and step up their game. As consumers prioritize affordability and advanced features, the pressure on older automakers to respond effectively is only going to grow. The automotive landscape is changing fast, and how this all plays out will have lasting effects on both manufacturers and consumers. What do you think about the future of American car makers in the face of rising competition from China? Share your thoughts in the comments. And that's it for today. Stay tuned for more and catch you at the next one.